So we all know theaters and negative experiences in theaters. If you've been to more than two movie showings, you've likely had one. You know you get the typical babies crying, teenagers on their phone, people talking, or even people making out weirdly enough. But what if I told you had the culmination of almost all that, heightened to such a level it almost felt like a Michael Bay flick, it's such a bizarre reactive theater in the weirdest ways? Now, would you believe me? So I'm going to try and do this in order the best I can. We basically got to the cinema not expecting too many people, considering how only half the theater seemed to be filled when we were getting our tickets. But to our surprise, almost the entire parking lot was full. We got out and inside, and it was like endgame opening day slash night, and you know many weren't paying. That's going to come back later. There were so many people, it was actually hard to go from place to place. Like, buying food was fine, but getting the drinks, there was a bunch of people just walking around and taking pictures. And oh god, the amount of teenagers. Thankfully, I didn't seem to know any of them. Would have made it awkward. There's also a slight bit of security if this is going to come back. There seemed to be a huge crowd leaving, with some from Oppenheimer and some probably from Barbie, and maybe even a couple from Blue Beetle. We got inside and there weren't many people, so I thought, oh okay, not many people. I was actually a little underwhelmed because I kind of love hearing audience reactions. Imagine how I was feeling about that 20 minutes later. There were some previews, nothing special, though more people started to come in. It was the usual, families and some adults, but soon a large number of teenagers started piling in and it was bad. Loud, noisy, boisterous, all throughout the previews, it was starting to get bad. There was a trio of people in front of us who kept periodically leaving and checking on their phones, but we're not there yet. But as the previews ended, the theater was almost completely full and my dad could tell this was not about to be good. Nothing could brace us for what the next 120-ish minutes held in store. The crazy part was the opening was just fine, an iconic opening being seen in theaters with barely any reactions, so I guess the audience decided to play a bait and switch because of course after that a baby started crying. It was a little bad at first, but then the realization dawned. There was a giant clump of disgusting parasitic children and teenagers in the front, and apparently they must have signed a paper to periodically run a marathon because holy hell, the running theme, pun intended, is teenagers sneaking in and out because their attention spans are so fucked and running. Not even just walking, they would run and make loud ass noises. They were not slick about it at all. And sometimes they would decide to take an extra 20 seconds just to kind of just be aware of their surroundings since I guess they weren't beforehand. Some would start to get up, like children just aimlessly wandering around for their mothers or something as well. I couldn't tell. It was like a mass calling of them because it would just not stop for us all 20 to 30 minutes. Basically up until the tour got inside the visitor center or something. I forgot exactly when, but yeah. And when that wasn't happening, the people in front of us were moving around, talking, and uh, yeah, we could hear it. The crazy part was, aside from all the chitter-chatter and moving around, there wasn't much reactions. And the thing you'll learn is our side, the left side was basically the degenerate low attention span side, and the right side seemed like much more adult people that actually properly reacted, and then the front was just something else entirely. Like a disgusting sewer full of ratty people just aching to go on their phones. Like, I cannot tell you the amount of times the flash went off because I sort of tuned it out. You know, Jurassic Park is an awesome movie, but it was kind of hard considering we were seeing it in 3D. That random dude just standing in front of the fucking aisle made it a bit hard to enjoy. And as for the flash, it seemed to be a problem kind of taking care of itself. It wasn't hugely bright, but again, they were in front and we were in the back. So yeah. Turn off the flash, you fucking moron! <laughs> People also literally started yelling out, turn off the fucking flash or something like that. Like they decided it was finally enough. And again, people just continued walking around the aisle and up and down it. You would occasionally see some new people asking us what the movie was, either stay or just kind of laugh and watch right behind us while pathetically attempting to get their stuff and creating more of a ruckus while doing so. It got annoying and I know I'm probably mixing up the order of events, but again, awesome movie I was trying to enjoy. And again, those first 30 minutes really sucked because people were talking, moving around, children just straight up crying, no babies crying. Which of course just infuriated my dad even more. It was like a daycare, but like shit. Eventually, however, it died down and the audience became something normal, like actually reacting. It seemed like the teenagers and kids stopped watching Fortnite videos and put aside their short attention spans, or at least did a better job of hiding so, because the next hour or so was pure bliss. It was like for a moment there was perfect harmony between all groups. Properly reacting, laughing when something funny happened, or being scared and screaming while something scary happened, like when the ghost leg fell in other appropriate moments, it felt like truly the worst had passed. People were laughing, and it was fun. But then it got bad. Again. People started coming back and forth again, and it seemed like they chose the third act of this film to hold the brunt of the attack, as they were flocking in droves. 
Again, the right side seemed to be good, but somehow and somewhere during the second act, the trio in front of us left, and some dude and his family just took their spot, because maybe they didn't pay or their trio didn't. Honestly, this became a running theme for the last 20-30 minutes, because it seemed to start up again, but eventually security and people would become wiser to their plans of attack. People in the front started going on their phones again, getting itchy and talking a whole lot more, which was just unnecessary. Every single teenager nowadays seems to think their commentary was sculpted by the gods, made to be written in stone as if it isn't the very reason God left us. This shit was just unrelenting. People just kept talking and going back and forth and it got so bad that when people started moving around in seats and coming back and leaving, fucking security was called. And then the worst of it, it was somewhere during the third act of this awesome masterpiece, well, near masterpiece, when someone shouted, insert name, get your black ass on the ground now. I legit sprung out of my seat a little like I was witnessing the fall of humanity and thought I was some racist cop out of a Darman sketch about to shoot a black man, and I'm sure it shook the theater too. You could almost feel the silence, as if everyone decided to put their differences away and bring out their similarities, so one another could rejoice in dying with similar folks after such a crazy event would likely escalate, like we were about to witness a shooting or something. But nope, just some asshole kids, and because of that, the cops came to our theater periodically during those last 20 to 30 minutes, and with guns. Not like pistols from memory and also sight that was limited by being in a dark theater. They were like bigger guns. Also, the doors for the exits kept being open and that's how we could hear them. Fucking annoying. My dad had to close them like three times. It was really that event and act that seemed to quiet the theater majorly as there were no more big reactions. People seemed to quiet down. Actually, y you did have some big reactions if the order of events went like this. The cops were called and brought in around the same time as Tim being electrocuted and the raptors attacking Ellie in the shed. And of course, when Alan was giving Tim CPR mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, people thought he was kissing him because they're immature and said, Ew, and what the fuck? And also, I guess I forgot there's one shot that opened with Ellie's ass especially close. It was when her and Alan met back up after the raptor in the shed because some people went, Oh, oh, damn. Or something like that. Or like, oh, you know, so inappropriate. Because, of course. However, I take that over the constant marathons and cops being called to a specific theater and people constantly leaving. It's a miracle we were watching Jurassic Park and I managed to get easily pulled in by watching it in 3D and it being so good of a film. Even great because damn would it have been miserable if it was something extra long like Oppenheimer. I can only imagine the reactions to the sex scene with all the inevitable teenagers there as well. In fact, they probably only went there for them and after Florence Pugh gave Killian that Sloppenheimer, they probably didn't even bother to wait for the second one. Their attention spans were so screwed. Like, that seems to line up with the timeline that happened around 20 or so minutes into the film, I believe, so if they did leave and run to another theater, but probably ours, after that, it would make sense within the first 20-30 minutes being so bad. Maybe some left after the second scene around an hour or so in, I guess, because that's when it's also started again. Actually, looking back, it lines up and explains it really well, or maybe just films ended beforehand around that time, because different showings, people were just really bored in general. Eventually the film ended, I only say that because it was such a long, arduous experience, not because the film was long, but because of the insane and asinine reactions, although it did make the experience kind of fun in a way as well. I wish I recorded it because, yeah, there was some goofy shit going on. Then again, I might have been arrested if I did so, but I'm willing to bet plenty of people also got in trouble. However, when the film ended, it got an uproarious amount of clapping, which, like, yeah, it's one of the highest grossing films for a reason, but it also felt somewhat insincere. Having all these people act so badly and just treat it as a playground, only for a bunch of them to clap and whistle maybe even, just felt insincere and sarcastic and it just kind of pisses me off. It's such a well-made film that has held up so much, only for it to be shit on and away from some of this audience. And the sneaking in and out felt so confusing to me, because we saw this and I'm writing this the day of, on August 27th, aka National Cinema Day, where tickets only cost $4. So when tickets cost normal amounts, there's not enough people sneaking in and out, at least enough to warrant the cops coming in along with the little guns in their hands. But when it costs the least, that's when it's the most amount of people sneaking in. That's some next level broke ass activity. So what did we learn? If you're going to react, react appropriately. If you're going to watch a movie, don't sign a paper to run a marathon during it. Don't decide to sneak in the day cinema tickets cost $4 each. Uh, and watch more of my videos.